Shemot chapter 23. You are not to repeat false rumors. Do not join hands with the wicked by offering perjured testimony. Do not follow the crowd when it does what is wrong, and don't allow the popular view to sway you into offering testimony for any cause if the effect will be to pervert justice. On the other hand, don't favor a person's lawsuit simply because he's poor. If you come upon your enemy's ox or donkey straying, you must return it to him. If you see the donkey which belongs to someone who hates you lying down helpless under its load, you are not to pass him by, but to go and help him free it. Do not deny anyone justice in his lawsuit simply because he is poor. Keep away from fraud, and do not cause the death of the innocent and righteous, for I will not justify the wicked. You are not to receive a bribe, for a bribe blinds the clear-sighted and subverts the cause of the righteous. You are not to oppress a foreigner, for you know how a foreigner feels, since you were foreigners in the land of Egypt. For six years you are to sow your land with seed and gather in its harvest, but the seventh year you are to let it rest and lie fallow, so that the poor among your people can eat, and what they leave the wild animals in the countryside can eat. Do the same with your vineyard and olive grove. For six days you are to work, but on the seventh day you are to rest, so that your ox and donkey can rest, and your slave girl's son and the foreigner be renewed. Pay attention to everything I have said to you. Do not invoke the names of other gods or even let them be heard crossing your lips. Three times a year you are to observe a festival for me. Keep the festival of matzah for seven days as I ordered you. You are to eat matzah at the time, to, at the time determined in the month of Aviv, for it was in that month that you left Egypt. No one is to appear before me empty-handed. Next, the festival of harvest, the first fruits of your effort sowing in the field, and last, the festival of ingathering. At the end of the year, when you gather in from the fields the results of your efforts, three times a year all your men are to appear before the Lord Jehovah. You are not to offer the blood of my sacrifice with leavened bread, nor is the fat of my festival to remain all night until morning. You are to bring the best first fruits of your land into the house of Jehovah your God. You are not to boil a young animal in its mother's milk. I am sending an angel ahead of you to guard you on the way and bring you to the place I have prepared. Pay attention to him, listen to what he says, and do not rebel against him, because he will not forgive any wrongdoing of yours since my name resides in him. But if you listen to what he says and do everything I tell you, then I will be an enemy to your enemies and a foe to your foes. When my angel goes ahead of you and brings you to the Emery, Hiti, Perizi, Kenani, Hivi, and Yavusi, I will make an end of them. You are not to worship their gods, serve them, or follow their practices. Rather, you are to demolish them completely and smash their standing stones to pieces. You are to serve Jehovah your God, and he will bless your food and water. I will take sickness away from you. In your land your women will not miscarry or be barren, and you will live out the full span of your lives. I will send terror of me ahead of you, throwing into confusion all the people to who, whom you come, and I will make all your enemies turn their backs on you. I will send hornets ahead of you to drive out the Hivi, Kenani, and Hiti from before you. I will not drive them out from before you in one year, which will cause the land to become desolate and the wild animals too many for you. I will drive them out from before you gradually until you have grown in number and can take possession of the land. I will set your boundaries from the Sea of Suf to the Sea of the Pelishtim and from the desert to the Euphrates River, for I will hand the inhabitants of the land over to you and you will drive them out from before you. You are not to make a covenant with them or with their gods. They are not to live in your, in your land, otherwise they will make you sin against me by ensnaring you to serve their gods.